carving which to them is Zemi, the god. And even hurricane to them is that hurricane, the god of wind. Yet, the chief is called Kyasi. He cannot have one wife. He has to have seven or more. But if he should die, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you get the surprise. The favorite wife is buried with him, whether she wants to be dead or not. Oh <laughs> so she can either be buried alive or she has to poison herself. But the thing is, she believes that with her husband, they'll go to a place called Koyaba, which in their language is paradise. Dream come true. Koyaba? Koyaba. 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 They fish, they hunt, they farm. Pepper pot soup was originated by Tainos. They roasted the first fish in Jamaica. They had a lot of corn in their diet, what we call cassava, potatoes, yellow snakes, iguana lizards, the manatee that relates to the seal, otherwise called sea cow, and the Indian coney that looks like a guinea pig. It looks like a what? Guinea pig. Okay, but it's the size of a rabbit. Somebody told me about that mm -hmm. on the menu and I was looking for it. The Indian coney? Sure Trust me, I investigate menus before I try it. <laughs> <laughs> but know what it is, I'm not trying. Just, I'm, I'm kind of still kept it. If I'm going to a country, I need to know what really they oh, eat and mm -hmm. what they call it and stuff. Because suppose I'm a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Suppose there's right. something meat I can't eat. Might be allergic to that or, you know. So a friend of mine told me that iguana has a similar taste to chicken. And they say snake is not that far from a chicken taste. So that allows me to stick to chicken. If iguana tastes like chicken, if snake tastes like chicken, I eat chicken. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you very much stay with chicken. Yes, huh? pluck the feathers, pukka, pukka, and I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> and where Mr. Wesley Snipes is sitting, we're going to be passing him to go back. We just finished an amazing tour of the Green Grotto Caves. We were underground 40 feet, and we experienced some of the most fantastic sights ever imaginable. This is why Hither There Travel goes out to locations like this so we can research these spots, bring them to you, so when you take that trip, we know exactly what to recommend. We can give you the inside, we can give you the stuff to see and the stuff that you don't want to see. Or, it can save you when you are trying to pick out those special places that you want to go to. So we'll keep coming to you from here to that travel, bringing you exclusive, upfront, hands-on experiences from our travels.